Hey guys, this is QMH, and today I'm going to show you that how you can blur your picture <coughs> with the help of Photoshop. Uh, so now, let me here's the Photoshop CS6, and here's the picture gallery. I will select <coughs> one of my pictures. So the main thing is that uh, you have seen that if you are using any DSLR or SLR cam, then uh, you can focus on the particular object or any particular person that you want want to focus and the rest of the uh, pictures inside the lens will get blur but if you are using any regular or any low budget cam then you can you cannot do this uh, do this type of stuff like <coughs> if you are using any cheap uh, digital cam then you might not be able to focus on that particular object but with the help of Photoshop you can do so so as you can see this picture is taken from a regular digital cam and if you zoom in then you can see the background uh, as well as the object uh, is same like no focus is included in, the pic in this picture so now I will show you that how you can blur the background and highlight the picture <coughs> so for that simply click the quick section tool selection tool sorry and just you can adjust the size of this pointer as you can see this pointer and because it's uh, HQ HQ picture HD picture as you can see so the marker size will be bigger like 80 or 80 plus so now just right click sorry left click and drag it and select these sections you want to select and drag it till the end Don't worry if the selections are so. Uh, don't worry if you if the unnecessary objects got selected, you can deselect them later. But first, select the main objects and you just zoom in a bit so that you can clearly select the main object now for these small parts as you can see uh, these small parts just reduce your reduce the size of the marker and select them okay now the main part got selected or I'm just showing you in the simplest, simplest way because these things might occur and you might get confused that how to do them so I'm just doing what you will face while doing the same thing so now the main object got selected and also the unnecessary of parts got selected so now just you can see over here three options one is selection tool one is adding selection tool and one is reducing selection tool so click on reducing selection tool and zoom in a bit and push them inside now photoshop will detect the parts very easily try to do them smoother so that the blur get also get smoother now reduce them first let me reduce the main unnecessary parts the other parts 
other unnecessary parts. Okay, this thing is quite tricky because in the background and the main object is quite same in color so Photoshop is getting confused whether <coughs> to select or not but you don't have to worry just simply drag it till the end Now again <laughs> use the plus selection tool and select the parts very carefully. this small places you have to reduce the size of the marker and I'm turning it into 8 but if you can't then just leave it because uh, this little part won't affect on your picture Inside the hand for this. Uh, you can also skip this uh, small parts, but if you want to make it perfect, then you have to do these things. Okay, I'm bit over here. I guess you have noticed that the edges are not uh, like smooth they are rough in texture so you have to make them smooth okay, first let me finish the selection and the selection part this is the main part selecting and deselecting uh, <coughs> based on your selecting and deselecting everything does matter And after the pictures, uh, I'm just showing you roughly. And after these pictures, I'll show some samples about selecting and deselecting and the effects on those pictures. Okay, now I guess it's quite done. Now this here is left. You have to do the things properly now as you can see selecting and deselecting is done now you have to smooth the surfaces so what you have to do just right click on it and select inverse now the whole part as you can see this whole picture got selected uh, excluding this main objects you want to focus and now click refine edges and you can see if you zoom in you can see some rough edges and make them smooth I'll increase it and you can see the edges are quite smooth now I guess yeah the edges are quite smooth and quite
contrast I'll increase the contrast as well no let me decrease it okay now hit ok and it will take few seconds for refining your edges the edges of the picture <coughs> and now click on filter and go to blur and click lens blur don't select any other blur because uh, all the functions are different from each other so click on lens blur and you will get this radius options over here which you can increase and decrease if you increase it you will be able to focus on the main picture and you can see the background got blur <coughs> and only your body uh, is like on the fo focus point you can in decrease it so that it looks <coughs> quite realistic and let me decrease it till 30 now it looks you can also play with this radius option to see whether the picture is perfect uh, or not now let me set it in 43 and I'll hit OK and you can see applying lens blur because it's a big huge picture it's uh, almost 5 MB so it's taking time to apply the blur filter or blur effect but um, before you do I just want to say you that you can put a copy or you can make a extra layer so that the original picture doesn't get affected <coughs> so now I will click on file and save as and I'll name it 1 and you can select jpg and then save uh, I'll hit ok you see 2.7 MB it's reduced into 2.7 MB now if you go to the top you can see this is the main picture <coughs> this is the origin picture after doing blur effect and you can see the whole focus is based on uh, only on me uh, let me show you some samples so that you can understand or you can see that you if you do this, this properly then <coughs> you will be able to like apply apply the blur blur effect properly and let me show you the original picture you can see if you see this picture you can see the background is quite blur not quite blur it's totally blur so here's the picture you can see uh, let me show you the main picture first uh, the main picture uh, this is the main picture just it's also get loading oh god see the main original picture the background uh, this picture is focused quite still quite focused on the main four objects and the background is also in, in the focus but after applying the effect you can see the changes the background got blur and the main objects got selected so it's the four person is getting highlighted you can you can easily see that and also this 
is also after applying blur you can see the background is blur and main objects is selected so this is how you can blur your image images or blur any type of object and you can focus on any particular objects and make other objects into blur so just try this out hope this will help and if you have any question then go to the comment section of the video and ask me so thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye bye